Aloha. Aloha from Maui. Nice. Thank you for joining me today. If you are watching this video, you are interested in Danner boots. Well, you found the right video. So whether you're watching me on Amazon Live or if, which is 9 to 9.45 every Friday on amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Terry Edmonds, or you'll find this on the replay on my YouTube channel. So I love Danners. You are joining me in my shoe store called If The Shoe Fits. We are in Maui, Hawaii. You would never know it, but I had to find a way to wear my Danner hat. <laughs> so I turned the AC down to like 66, just so we could all kind of, you know, get the vibe. All right, here we are. So again, for those of you who are just joining me and never heard about me, I am a shoe entrepreneur. The best way to reach me is at terryedmonds.com. And on the front page of my website, you will find the Amazon link. You hit that Amazon link and it takes you right to my Amazon shopping cart. And there we are uh, live today. Let's turn this down so I don't annoy myself. And um, yeah, so you're gonna find your categories. Today we're talking about work boots in the first half, and then in the second half of the show, we're gonna be talking about hiking boots. And I will also touch base on some of the ladies' boots. So um, here we go, let's do this. I am so excited to be here with you guys today. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to be with you guys. So first we're gonna start, um, I do wanna to touch base on a couple of quick comments um, because I've had some questions over the last couple of weeks here. And one of them was, we're gonna get straight to it because he has been so patiently waiting for me. And this is to, uh, this is for Michael Maliski. Thank you so much for your question. And you wanted to know, um, can I do a review on the Field Ranger? And the Field Ranger is this boot. It's awesome. It's lightweight. Um, it is actually in the uh, work boot section of Danner boots, but you know, it kind of looks like a hunting boot to me. It's got the orange on there. It's super lightweight. It does not come with a safety toe. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Um, wait a minute. Uh, okay, it does come with a safety toe, except the one I have has no safety toe. So, uh, hmm, that's a really good question. <laughs> anyway, it comes with a lot of safety. Actually, they're only offering it in the safety toe now, but I can see why they would do that. To me, this looks like something that, um, like one of my customers, maybe a plumber or an electrician, I get a lot of those guys and they're on their toes. They are always looking for this special um, rubberized out tip on the toe, which they are calling. So this is a durable leather and textile upper. Uh, it has waterproof, of course. I only carry things that are waterproof. And it has a P, uh, plastic upper coated leather on the toe and heel to provide increased durability and abrasion resistance. It has the cushioning um, footbed on the inside and it is oil and slip resistant outsole. Love that, look at that, that's an awesome, awesome sole. And it does have the safety toe and they meet all of the standards for electrical hazards as well. So I guess they're really taking this into, that's probably why they put it in the work section. So like I said, the one I have does not have the safety toe, um, but it doesn't matter. It's an awesome boot, lightweight. Uh, they're showing it in a 47 to a 52 ounce uh, material. It's again got the uh, Danner dry waterproofing. And as we remember, Danner invented Gore-Tex. And so they know everything about waterproofing. They actually test these boots underwater uh, and put like, a, they put this foot in it and it makes it bend back and forth. So they really test the durability of the sole. So Michael, there you have it. It would I, I recommend it. I mean, it's so lightweight that if I were gonna wear something like this all day long, mm -hmm, that's great. It's not too high, so it allows you to actually do some bending. Is it flexible? Yeah, it's pretty flexible. Um, since we're on the electrical boots, I'm gonna uh, move on to another uh, work boot by Danner, which is fantastic. And let's do that. 
So there are a couple of different versions here. This is called the Springfield and they offer it in the low rise. This is, I believe they call this like a four inch. This might be the three inch. And then they have the four and a half. That's what it is. So this has got a little bit more protection. Um, I only carry the waterproof because I see no point in getting something that isn't waterproof if you're working in it every day. You know, maybe in Arizona, you don't need the waterproof, but I'm in Hawaii and so it's wet out here and you know, it gets wet. So anyway, really nice boot and the price point on these are fantastic. I did put this in the shopping carousel. So again, these come with that plastic, uh, toe right it's got this plastic upper around the toe uh, it also has it on the heel okay so it's super lightweight i like that about this boot um, it does run a little bit on the medium width and uh, as far as that last boot the field ranger the field ranger runs a little bit wider i carry everything in wide in my store there's no point in going medium because everybody has wide feet so uh, I really like that Field Ranger. Um, this one is a little bit heavier. This does have the safety toe in it already. But again, you know, I get so many electricians that really like this boot. Uh, one of the others, speaking of it, because I get so many workers in my store, it's so awesome. We have this one. This is called the Crucial, and this is the six inch. It too has the uh, plastic around the toe box and around the heel, okay? Um, I don't believe I put the Crucial in the shopping carousel, but you will see most of these others in that shopping carousel. So um, anyway, really nice boot. The Crucial also comes in the uh, eight inch. So there we have it. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of boot. I always tell people this is great if you're, um, well, you know, if you really need that support, like for instance, we have, I get a lot of the Maui Electric Company and they're out in the, going into Haiku, which is super muddy, or even in our back farm, it has all of these logs and they're trying to put these new pole lines in and they had to get through all this Christmas berry and crazy, crazy wood everywhere. That's what I would do with this, definitely. If I'm using a chainsaw, uh, something like that. Uh, this comes with or without a safety toe. Most of the boots that you see behind me come with or without a safety toe. So um, I carry both because I have guys that ask the same it, uh, for either option. This does have the Vibram sole, which is really nice. Um, and I've had some people say, I, I've got to have that boot with the Vibram sole. But you know, if it's a Danner boot, I'd say don't sweat it because Danner knows what they're doing. They have a one year warranty. Uh, if you're buying from Amazon or if you're buying from your local brick and mortar like myself or my Amazon shopping cart, you can find them there too. One year warranty and Danner's really fair. Uh, it's against defects. So if any of these little rivets or grommets come out, um, they'll, they'll repair them as long as you haven't had like a truck roll over it. <laughs> That's not a defect. <laughs> All right, so I wanna address another question that I had. Um, someone was watching my review on the Danner mock toe, Bull Run Mock Toe, which is in your shopping carousel. And uh, his question was, which it seems like uh, this is a given that when you shop on Amazon that you're looking for the right size and that you're gonna read some of the specs. I put up there uh, what I find, like for instance, the, what you're seeing in the Bull Run Mock Toe on there, um, and it's a certain size. You have to actually look for your size on Amazon. I'm giving you the tool to for a boot that I like, and then you need to go in there and look at those specs. Does the boot come with a safety toe? Are you ordering that boot with the safety toe? And so this client um, actually, you know, was a little frustrated because he went on there and bought a boot and it had the safety toe and he didn't want the safety toe. So I just say, you know, look at what your shop, you know, look at the specs and make sure it's got what you need. Uh, typically with Danner, if you get the safety toe in there, it's an extra 10 bucks, big deal. Um, anyway, so I, I guided him in the right spot and he found the right boot, which is great. So just pay close attention to what you're ordering. And speaking of that, let's talk about that Bull Run Mock Toe. 
So I offer it in two different colors. I offer the regular brown. This one is one of my best viewed uh, Danner review videos because guys love this. It's such a classic. Um, this boot happens to be uh, no lining on it and so it's not waterproof. Uh, however, you know, usually guys that are wearing this, you know, this is like a great roofing boot. That's why it's got the nice smooth sole. Um, also guys wear this who are working on setting tile. That way it's non-marking. That's the point of these white soles. And these can be repaired. This is considered stitch down technology. Let's see that, let's see from the side. You see the stitching here? And it's, it's some, a lot of the boots out in the world today look like they're stitched down. They have some stitching, but there's a ridge between the boot and the sole, and it's a little lump. That means it's not a real stitch down, it's a fake. So Danner, this is part of their stitch down technology. It can be repaired. Um, I am a shoe repairer, and so I repair boots like this, but I, I personally don't like to repair Danners because they're so well made. And once I go into it, your warranty is broken. So I say if you buy a Danner and you love it, it's all broken in and soft and yummy on your foot, send it to Danner, same price as your local cobbler, and Danner will re, uh, redo them for you. And they do all kinds of things. They'll Sometimes they'll do the new uh, heel counter in the back. Anyway, this is a great boot. For a boot like this, I did put this in the shopping carousel as far as taking care of your really good leather goods. Um, eat Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. I think everybody knows how much I love that. And so you clean the boot first. And then um, this is a really great one. Like I just had a guy in my store the other day that... Um, I asked, well, you know, if you put some conditioner on your boots, they're going to last a little bit longer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so he said, well, I just, you know, I'm so tired at the end of the day. So, well, this is a trick. Take a Tupperware dish with a dedicated paintbrush that you just leave there. Leave it by your, uh, in your garage when you pull your car in and when you where you take your boots off and just take that paintbrush out and just slather this stuff on. It's easy. You can put it on the laces. You can put it on the metal doesn't matter, it's just gonna soak in overnight and it's a great way to salvage your boots. So, I know some guys want a boot to last years and years and years, but if you're in it all day, every day, invest in yourself. It's a couple hundred dollars at most if you even upgrade to an insole. So this is that power step that I'm always raving about. I love it. I get, I order the pinnacle. This is what I carry in my store. It's what I wear in my shoes. And, um, you know, it's just got just the right support. It's got a little bit of cushion. And it, what it does is it customizes your boot for you, making it much more comfortable. So see, here we are. It's just real simple. This is a medium arch. Uh, some very rarely do guys need the high arch or gals, but, um, this is their medium, and I'll actually show you the high arch here. So, this is the uh, power step high. So it definitely has a bit more arch, see that? Versus something like that. Uh, very rarely do I sell this high arch, um, but it's it's great. It takes, solves the problem. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving on because we have got lots of boots. Check out all of these boots in here. I am so excited and I have like another eight, seven, ten cases coming today. So let's move on. That Bull Run Mock Toe also comes in the black. I usually carry whole sizes and I carry the wide sizes. So great boot, treat it all the same. All right, let's move on to, I wanted to uh, show you guys, I have the quarry that's in your shopping cart there today. And this one is also stitch down technology. Uh, this is has multiple layers, full grain leather, a very thick leather. It's meant to take a beating. And um, this is the eight inch. Of course, it only comes in the eight inch. It comes in black. It comes in um, this brown, and it also comes in that like a tan color, kind of like a the nubuck. 
and uh, very durable. It also has the Vibram sole. It can be resold again, send it to the factory. And maybe go ahead and add in another arch. It's a pretty heavy duty boot. Right now, I sell this to the cable company, all the guys that are out. Um, hi, Johnny Kong. Thanks for watching and following. Totally appreciate having you here. Anyway, uh, so this one happens to have the safety toe. It meets all of the uh, safety and electrical hazard uh, conditions. And so then the last thing I would say is something like this, where you've got this smooth toe on it. If you're uh, I, one of those guys that still needs that extra protection on the toe, I actually thought I brought it out. I'm gonna grab it, hold on a second guys. This is worth the wait. All right, so this is called Tough Toe. And you know, maybe later today I'll put it on my the Amazon shopping cart, but this stuff is so great. And it just smears on the front of the boot. So there are a couple of YouTube videos out there on how to use it. I haven't made one yet, but I probably will. And it's really great. I have a client that um, buys a pair of the Danners and rides a motorcycle and so he's using that shifter. And so uh, he likes to use it to protect from the shifter and he loves it. it. Says definitely study how to apply it, but it's really worth worth it. And if that's the only place that's wearing on your boot, why not? I mean, it doesn't look beautiful, right? It's not like a fashion statement, but if it's gonna make your boot last longer, why not? All right, so we're gonna move into another one. We just looked at the uh, quarry, right? Let's go ahead and take a peek at the rainforest. So this is the super rainforest. Very, very tricky to get your hands on these boots. Look at how gorgeous. It's triple layered, uh, thick, um, full grain leather. And this is meant to take a beating. I have clients either in uh, Department of Land and Natural Resources where they go up into the very far backwoods in the mountains in the Yao Valley and these gorgeous rainy mountains up here. And they love it. The break-in time takes a long time. You can go, this one's without the safety toe because those guys don't need the safety toe, but it still takes a long time to break in. But my point is, if you go to a local cobbler like myself, um, they can stretch them for you. Have them help you with the break-in, okay? It is waterproof. And what I would do if I had a client coming to me to, to stretch these, which I actually just did, um, I would actually, and I put this in the shopping carousel for you guys today. It is the shoe stretcher. This is a boot stretcher. And we're not going to do it together. If you guys want to watch my stretching videos, I've always got plenty of those out on Amazon. But this is it. And it's really nice. You just put it in the boot. Oops. And then you're going to open it up like this. See how it's opening in the front? Okay. Then what I would like, to, what I do and I'm finding is the most effective for really getting that stretch is I take a wet washcloth, soaking wet washcloth, and I put it on the outside of the area that you wanna have uh, stretched. It will work and it won't hurt the water. This boot is waterproof, so it doesn't hurt the inside of the boot, but it does allow that full grain to just give a little bit more once you've got the stretcher in there. Um, again, this boot is hard to get your hands on. I put one in the shopping carousel. Um, double check your size, right? And I get mine special ordered from Danner. Um, I get into their manufacturing uh, line and they make up a nice set for me every season. So I love it. Great boot, really great boot. Comes in brown and black. And there's the rainforest and the super rainforest. The super rainforest is what? Super. <laughs> extra durable really going to do the trick for you all right here we are we're moving on we are still in the category of stitch down kind of a heavier duty boot for you guys and as my mom says it's a boot time <laughs> all right here we are this is the logger check out this boot i love this boot i have a couple of clients from my electric company of course that like this boot because of the heel uh, it's about uh, an inch on the inside of this heel and about, let's see, one, 
two. We're about one and three quarters on the back. Uh, this has got the full grain leather, of course. Comes with the lace protector. And depending on how you install these, you can actually install them over the laces if you're um, using these for welding. So this is a really great boot. It's actually pretty lightweight. And it, this one does have the safety toe in it. So nice boot if you've got to be in, you know, something like this all day. Again, um, send it to Danner to have them repair it. They'll put it on the same kind of last that they use to make the boot so that it stays nice and yummy after you've broken it in. Um, have a couple of clients on the mainland that like to order this from me. So that's kind of fun. I like it. It's got the dr Danner dry waterproofing in it. Something like this, the laces, the length that you're looking for is so i always tell people when you're looking for laces replacement laces usually on the side of the box and we'll do the english not the french it'll tell you in your description of what how many eyelets you're looking at compared to what length you need okay my rule of thumb is take your laces out and measure them it's almost never the, what it says on the box, whether it's Danner or any of the other ones. I also sell the Cadillac brand, and I believe they're in the shopping cart as well. I did put the Danner laces in the shopping cart for you. This boot takes an 83 inch, so that's what you'd wanna buy for that. And the laces are really great. They last a long time. A little trick I am going to uh, teach those of you that don't know, and I didn't know for the longest time, but when you're tying your laces, and if you let's say you got your pants on over top of it and the laces are coming undone and you're frustrated and you're like, I need some coffee to deal with this stuff. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so the trick is when you're tying your laces, you do your first loop as normal. Then you make your bow. And I typically, I was taught to go this way. Do whatever feels abnormal. Because when you do that, it makes a knot that will not not come undone until you want it to. So super simple trick. Test it, try it, and you'll say she was right. Terry, always learning good things. I'm gonna tune into her channel way more. <laughs> All right, so we had that. Uh, let's take a look. I also had, um, I have a really quick uh, comment that I wanna respond to today that is not exactly Work but related, but I promised her I would talk, uh, give her a shout out today. And hold on, her name is doo, 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 doo. okay. I don't have her name written down. Amy, Amy Cooper. That's who it is, Amy Cooper. And she wanted to know what to do if the cork is splitting on her footbed, and. It's so easy, I have a video, it's got hundreds of thousands of views at this point for Birkenstocks, and it, it deals with resolving uh, Birkenstock issues, uh, the, the cork. So basically your supplies are gonna be a sheet of cork, the shoe, and the glue. Okay, these are all on my Amazon shopping cart. I've got a message there, let's see. I've been down there a while working law enforcement almost 10 years, awesome, Johnny, thank you. Yeah, Johnny, um, I love selling Danners to you guys. In the back over here, there, <laughs> uh, you'll see I have all of these really great, the Tachyon is a really great boot. Uh, tell me which one you're wearing and have you tried the Striker, uh, not the Striker, the Scorch Side Zip. It's one of the latest and lightest. And of course that Tachyon, I get some police officers that say that it's really comfortable when uh, driving, you know, maneuvering around the pedal. So thanks for writing in, Johnny. I totally appreciate that. Anyway, so uh, this is back to the Birkenstock. I've got a full video on how to do that. Amy, thank you for asking. It's super easy and you can do it with supplies that you have at home using a razor knife and some sandpaper and the glue. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Um, let's see what our time is. It's 9.20. I'm gonna to touch base. Let's look at a couple more items here. Um, not everybody wants a lace-up boot. So Danner offers a couple of choices. Here is the um, Bull Run, and this happens to be, uh, it's not waterproof, made in America. Love that little flag when it's on there. And um, it is stitched down. That's what stitch, real stitch down looks like. 
and uh, this is really you know um, I have friends that are clients that like the Ariat I think this is a nice you know uh, replacement if you decide to go with something like this unlined so it's not waterproof as I said it does come with or without a safety toe and we've got a uh, Danner sole on that it's a little dirty I had people try that on wow somebody tried that on and got it dirty hello all right so that's a really great boot it also comes with a rounded toe okay I again love to uh, thank you Johnny I want to um, also talk about some other pull-ons. This is the Danner, um, hello, okay, I got all distracted here, hold on. This is the Trackwelt, hello, okay, Trackwelt, there we go. And it's got the nice toe shield, right? This is great, um, kind of a low profile on the bottom here, so uh, I, I, this just is like a classic road working boot right? Easy on. I drive past those guys when they're fixing our highways. <laughs> and, you know, it's, this is what they're, what they're wearing. It's either something like this, but they also make the uh, track weld in a six inch. So here we've got the six inch in it. Um, it's a little bit heavier. I mean, this is meant to be able to, you know, kick that shovel and, you know, moving things around, beat these things up. That's what they're made for. So really great all of these are waterproof you know i if you're out there in the road or like some of my my crews i have the county road workers the state road workers so i want to make sure that their feet aren't getting wet and they do come with a, a standard insole so again i say these insoles are fine they're made for for the you know average person but if you really wanna step up your game, feel better during the day, go ahead and add in a $40 or whatever Amazon's offering them at the time. Put in a power step. I swear I love these things. They are a game changer. All right, so we've got that one. Then we also have this. This is a nice one too. This is called the Steelyard. It's a Wellington, that's what they call these. And um, it has another, you know, kind of a low profile. So, you know, I tell people, some guys want the ease of a pull-on, but if you're doing anything where you're on a, an uneven terrain, um, I say, you know, put yourself in a lace-up boot. But if you don't have to do that, if you're farming, if you are, like I said, doing something like road work or you're uh, at a job site that's, you're pretty much on even surface, this is a great boot. Now this one does run a little more narrow in the toe box than the Danner track weld. You can see that difference a little bit, right? And um, pretty lightweight, waterproof. It's a newer style from Danner, um, but that doesn't matter to me. I, the classics are equally as good. Uh, everything is so well made. Now I'm gonna show you another version, which is this this is the crafter wellington this has the widest of all the toe boxes so if i get a guy that comes in and it's got a super wide foot wants the ease hello this is such a great boot comes with or without a safety toe i'm showing it to you without the safety toe right now this is a full grain leather and for this boot like this i would say put a conditioner on it i did put the Cadillac boot and leather lotion in the Amazon uh, shopping carousel there. Again, a very low profile. So that's kind of nice. It doesn't get hung up on things. So I love this boot. Now, I also have clients, cause I help people that have hard to fit feet. So I have clients that maybe can't get their foot. It, their foot goes in here, but can't get past this point right here. So I actually take off this tab here and then install a zipper for them that goes down to here. And then the boot opens up nicely. Now, by doing that, you know, I your warranty isn't good anymore once I do something like that. But um, some guys really appreciate it. And, you know, I get Tongans, Fijians, Samoans with big calves. You know, I had a guy, I'll show you another boot here. I just had one that I turned out to my client uh, this week. 
but this is a great boot. And we're gonna go ahead and move in since we're still doing the pull-ons, right? I get a lot of people that work farms here on Maui and um, or hunting. So this actually goes either way. I just had a, a, a kid buy this yesterday for his hunting trip tomorrow. And this is called the Arrowhead Sport in the Mossy Oak. I put it in the shopping carousel for you guys down below. And uh, what I did for this guy, he I think he was a Tongan or something, but really big calves. And I put a zipper in for him, which was nice because he was able to get in. But then on the other side, I put in a uh, seven inch by nine inch dart of um, surf. Come on, come on, come on. It's the um, the same material this is made out of. Wetsuits are made out of it, you know? So um, that name is escaping me right now. But anyway, it's just really nice. It has the same feel, still has some waterproofing to it. And um, it's just really great. This is a great boot. I like it because it's adjustable, right? This is so nice. And you can even, you can open it up and then you can roll them down. So I'm gonna show you another one because that's not all we have here. And if the shoe fits, we've got lots of stuff. This is an awesome boot. This is also by Lacrosse. It's in the shopping carousel, but I sell this to the solid waste division for the guys on the rubbish trucks. It gets super rainy. It has all of this um, metatarsal toe protection. I mean, this is probably the beefiest, toughest boot that Lacrosse offers for industrial work. Uh, they do have some others. You can see some in the top shelf up here. I've got some other, oh, well, that's what this one is, but. I carry some of the other lighter weight, but still used for chemicals and things like that. I have had, um, you know, some of the guys that work on a golf course, they'll uh, pick up something like this. And this is also in your shopping carousel. This is the lacrosse and this is the Alpha Range Air Circulation. And um, again, this one and this one both fold down you know just just in case you need to have you know there we go look at that you can be rough with them it's fine they're super durable lacrosse uh i think they joined danner in 1994 or 97 and the two together are such a duo uh, anything you buy from either one of them one year warranty um again for defects Prices are great. They offer two uh, free day shipping. Of course, if you're on Amazon and you're buying it on Amazon, you probably get free shipping with Prime. And uh, so that's all great. And I did actually see a Danner in the Prime Wardrobe. And Prime Wardrobe is that, um, hello, shoop de boop -de. Okay, hi, thanks. However you say hello, I'm gonna say aloha back. <laughs> um, thanks for joining me, you guys. Any questions you have, just let me know. So going back to that, uh, Danner Lacrosse, super awesome one year warranty. And they do offer ladies. So, um, you know, uh, 2020 brought about a lot more farming. It's really cool. I love it. And this is a really great farm boot. I love this boot because it has a very low, it doesn't have a high heel. They make some others that are more like a rainbow with the higher, a rain boot with the higher heel. But I like this better because um, it doesn't have so much room to get stuck in the muck, right? It's pretty low profile. The ridges are pretty low. You know, I have guys that ask about that. Like, is it going to get a bunch of mud stuck in my boot that's hard to get out later? So um, I like this great boot. This is uh, what I would get. Right now, I actually wear the Danner High Ground, which they no longer make. And it's so awesome. So I'm wearing it until I wear it out. All right, and that's my farm boot. I use it for shoveling and all of that kind of heavy work. <clears throat> all right, so while we're with the ladies, let's talk about a couple more items. We have, this is such a great boot. Oh my gosh, it's one of the newest. It's uh, part of the new spring line from Danner or Lacrosse. And it comes in the men's and the women's. I carry the full size run in the men's 
And then I brought in the full-size run in the women's. I'm always getting asked for the ladies, you know, they want to go on the hiking trip or go on the hunting trip. And so it's nice because they give you arch support. I am mean, arch support, hello, ankle support. And it does have, you know, it's, it's leather and, hold on a second here, let me free my hands so I can get very display like. <laughs> All right, so we've got leather and we've got a mesh, which is nice because it makes that boot so much lighter. This is similar to what my high ground is like. It's got support, but it's not full leather everywhere where I'm carrying this big, chunky, heavy boot. And it's good enough for like if you're wearing a pack, that's really key because you've got all that weight on your pack and you're trying to maneuver over logs or across big boulders. And this really helps to hold your ankle. It is the my number one favorite thing about these boots from Danner. Plus they're so light. I mean, wow. Of course, totally waterproof. I wouldn't sell a hunting boot that wasn't waterproof. And lacrosse, for those of you that don't know, is out of Wisconsin. And they know it's all about marshy lands there, farms and wetlands. So again, if, if you're just tuning in, Danner puts their boots and their waterproof lining through 200 tests to make sure that your boot stays waterproof. All right, so now while we're on waterproofing, let's talk about it. All right, this boot is waterproof, right? This boot is not waterproof. And I get asked all the time, how do I waterproof my boot? Well, you can't. If your boot is not waterproof, if it doesn't already have that kind of a lining inside, you can't make it waterproof. I, I say, prove me wrong. But you can do other things. So uh, Danner offers a waterproofing boot care, okay? And this has, this is a lotion, which is nice. A natural deep penetrating gel that waterproofs full grain leather boots, keeps feet dry and won't soften the leather. Okay, uh, again, I'm gonna say you can't waterproof a boot that isn't waterproof. I think that this protects your boots. If you are, you know, like I have them on, for instance, here's their waterproofing Nubuck and suede and fabric spray, okay? And I used it on my gray boots here <laughs> that match my gray hat. <laughs> All right, so it does protect them. So, um, you know, if I'm walking through snow, which I do actually travel sometimes and will again, <laughs> but that's what I would do. It helps keep, uh, it's like moisture wicking. If you spill something on it, it's not gonna penetrate through the leather right away. So that's really great. And I like those products. And I did include those products in the Amazon shopping cart down below. All right, back to the ladies again. Uh, right now there are, you know, inventory is a little bit low on, uh, Danner ladies, but this is fantastic. This is called the Adrika, and I love this boot. I'm actually gonna get this boot for myself. I should have had it for my hike that I just did in Haleakala. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe this would have helped. It was such a hard hike. If any of you have ever been here and tried that hike, it uh, just pooped me out. So I like this. It's got the, this is called this uh, Zegama tread. And it's something that it sells, I can buy them in sets and apply it to a tennis shoe or your other hiking boot and resole a boot in it. And now they're offering it for Danner, which is awesome. The Zagama is part of the Vibram family, Vibram. And so anybody that knows Vibram, it's, it is out of this world. And by the way, it is pronounced Vibram, not Vibram. Okay, anybody from Vibram would be so offended. <laughs> So it's a Vibram and this has a nice suede. It's got the, um, it's got the fabric on the inside. So it's so light. Oh my gosh. Lots of flexibility. Look at that. And it is waterproof. Okay. So, and it comes, they offer different types of laces in case you don't want it to be so bright, but um, nice boot. I really like this and they have other colors in it. I think they're out of most of the other colors right now. And honestly, this is the cutest of them all anyway. So. Uh, that's a good one. 
Another one, if you're looking for the ladies with a little bit more ankle support, this is called the Explorer. And I've carried it in the gray, um, but I gray suede, which is super cute, but they're out right now. And this is the alternative. And again, it's so light and honestly, this color makes your leg look longer when you wear it. So if you wanna, you know, rock your look when you're hiking, um, this would be a great one for you, don't you think? And again, uh, they're doing like a, a combination of, yeah, the mega grip, mega grip. And it's the flex and it's a compound, it's a self-adaptive lug flex. Okay, so look at that. You know, um, great. Again, I would say, you know, if I were carrying a pack, I would definitely go with uh, something with more ankle support. Either of these would be great. Um, you know, your regular day hikes, the Adrika is perfect for that. Love this little boot, love it. Okay, so now we are going to move into a little bit more of the hunting boots. And the show's gonna be a little bit longer today just because I, I do have so many great things I wanted to show you as part of this awesome Danner Spring collection. All right, so another boot. I did put this option in the Amazon shopping cart. This is called the Vital. And the Vital also comes in the plain brown, right? They're, again, it's super lightweight. To me, this was what I recommend um, instead of the high ground. I don't know why they stopped making that high ground because it's such a great boot, but this is a perfect replacement for it. It's got a nice wide toe box. Um, it's This one's all synthetic. There is no leather on it. Um, it has, I'm trying, it doesn't have that flex sole on it. So it is a little bit stiffer, but in a sense, it's kind of nice because, you know, like I, like I said, I wear my high ground when I'm working in the yard or, you know, on, crossing logs and with the pack. And I like that it's stiff. It helps me um, move through. So those are beautiful boots. Yeah, thank you, Carol, thank you. Um, so there we have that. Now I'm pointing this out specifically because this one is selling so quickly. Grab it while you can, and I'm not kidding on that, really, all through the summer. So this is the time they aren't really restocking big time until like June and August. Okay, the next one, which is, I think this is what I'm getting today should be arriving, but it's this in full size run. It's called the Alcia. Um, in store, I offer it for 180. Um, I don't have my shopping carousel to see what uh, Amazon's offering it. However, prices always change with Amazon. So, you know, research it, click on, make sure you get the right size for yourself totally waterproof. This is a combination of leather and fabric. And it does come in a plain, but um, this one is the green, I think I got the real tree on this. Mossy oak, that's what this is, the mossy oak. Lightweight, I mean, I think you could get at least a year. I don't tell anybody over a year because if you're wearing it all the time, you spend $180 for great footwear, replace it, at the end of the year and that way you can recycle things you've got good support and again always add in the power step to it okay and so i have another alternative if uh let's see we got that hunting boot oh yeah here's another one so the vital which i showed you uh i have it in the real tree that's what this is then we have the plain brown now they also make more of a six inch in the green and the brown. And I think this is kind of cool. You know, again, I would actually, it's under hunting, but I think I would recommend this for hiking. Actually, I do recommend it for hiking. So when I get guys that are coming in for hikes. But another one that I forgot, as we mentioned hiking, hold on. This is the hiking boot right here, hello. This is called the Trail 2650. I can't believe I didn't put it in the shopping carousel, darn it, because it is my favorite. Holy cow, this thing is so light. I can it, hold it with two fingers, hold it with one finger. <laughs> I don't know. It's so great. And um, this, they offer a slew of colors, blue, mustard, all kinds. 
but I'll check for waterproofing because I believe this is the only color that it that is waterproof and I would not want to be on a hike unless my boots were waterproof so that's just me and so anyway this is a super fantastic boot and there we go we covered a whole slew of things did I get everything I'm sure I'm gonna oh no we didn't hold on one more the pronghorn look at that great boot so this boot is a combination of full grain leather and material, lightweight, waterproof. They are offering, this is the TerraForce Next. It's one of their really awesome technology inside the sole here. Uh, lightweight, durable. Um, again, it's the pronghorn. They're kind of expecting you to carry a big pack with this, um, be durable. And I sell a ton of this. I carry the pronghorn every season that they come out with it. Sometimes I'll carry it in the uh, like the mossy oak or one of the other camouflage, but it's a good price. I think everything other than the pronghorn in the hunting boots is usually under 200. Um, and one more boot that I remember I put in your shopping carousel and it reminded me because This can is also being shown, I saw some ads with Danner as part of their hunting collection. Stitch down, so what does that mean? Means they can repair it. Full grain leather, super lightweight. Oh my gosh, like if I had, if I were needing a boot I, like this, this is the one I'd pick versus the quarry or the super rainforest. It does the same idea. Doesn't have all of those layers of thick leather, so it's not meant for you know, back in the trails. But if I'm doing a work boot, my fiance wears this boot in the eight inch. He likes the safety tote, comes with or without. But you could also do the six inch. With or without a safety toe, everything's waterproof. Gore-Tex, super fantastic with the Vibram sole, yeah? And for that, uh, you could either do your Danner, you know, waterproof lotion. Uh, you could also do the Danner boot dressing, which I put in the shopping carousel. There we go. And you just rub this on. It's like a wax. Apply liberally using a soft cloth onto clean, dry boots. Rub into the leather and the seams. Re remove all excess with a new clean, dry cloth. So not for use on new buck or suede, okay? Or you can go back to the uh, oil which is, I carry the Neat's Foot Oil in the compound that you can also get at 100%. Let's see if it shows up there. And there you have it. Wow! Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Mom, you're awesome. Thanks for watching always. You guys, thank you for your comments. Thank you for following. Uh, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, thank you for supporting me. All of your purchases that you make through my Amazon shopping cart, I earn a little percentage and that helps me make these programs. And maybe buy more hats. Okay, maybe I should try a different hat next time. <laughs> Love you guys and aloha from Maui. Happy Friday.